use him like a lab rat. Yeah. Me freaked out at home, a super busy mom. Yeah. The boy's best friend is a talking dog. Talking dog. Three stream jeans and an app breathing shark. Mega action game controller skating in the park. A feral booster bling bling. What do we make of this? Requests. Let's just do this. Ready, <laughs> set, Pinata <laughs> Goblet! <laughs> Take that! <laughs> How'd I do? Eh, better than last time. <laughs> okay, it finally happened. We've been abducted by aliens! Test. Yeah? Oh, wow, are we glad to see you. Hey, uh, you guys want some pork chops? I usually make it a rule that I accept flying pork from strangers in space robes, but hey, why not? You guys don't have any floating applesauce, do you? We are the Rib-Eye Knights, protectors of all things meat-related in the Tri-Tip Galaxy. And we need your help, Johnny Test. You are our only hope. He's your only hope? So, how do you meet guys know who I am? Everybody knows about the great and powerful Johnny Test. You're the only warrior to ever defeat the evil one. Dark Vegan? He's the evil one? We've been spying on him for months. We're not sure how. But we know that he's planning to destroy our homeworld, then it's Sirloin of the Salisbury Nebula. He wants to rid our galaxy of meat. No ribeye knight has ever been able to defeat him, which is why we've called on you, Johnny the Chosen One. OK, first of all, awesome. Second, are you sure you got the right guy? He's kind of harmless. Hangs out on Earth eating toast. I see him like every day walking his dog. Good. Then you won't mind going to his house and destroying him with your Johnny powers. And just so we know you've succeeded, bring us his helmet! I'm not doing that. Uh, how about one of his boots? No, an old magazine he read then. Wow, Dark Vegan's basement. That was fast. Kind of cozy down here. Yeah, I guess, in a creepy, crazy man tinkering in the basement sort of way. Oh, hi, Johnny. I mean... Johnny Test, how did you manage to find my forbidden basement of doom? Right. The meat dudes think you're trying to destroy their planet. I will destroy their planet, and I will destroy you too, Johnny Test. You will bow before my vegan powers. You will tremble before my... Ooh, toast is ready. I'm working on unlocking the secret to perfect toast. Oh, why can't I make toast? Cool, light stick. No, oh, it's new. I'm deadly. <laughs> No more wasting time tinkering with toast in my basement. It's time to go back into outer space and destroy planet Sirloin. Those meat eaters really chop my chuck. Wait, what can all that do? Look, Johnny, it's been months since I spread terror throughout the galaxy, and I'm cranky. Destroying a planet will help me blow off some steam, all right? Introduce Planet Sirloin to my Deathcraft. So, Deathcrafts are bad, right? Yes, Johnny. Deathcrafts are bad. Chosen One, Talking Dog, Meat Man, Other Meat Man, hit me with something lamy. <laughs> Do you have the helmet? I mean, magazine. No, but you were right. He's kind of sort of on his way to your meat planet in his Deathcraft. Deathcraft? Why didn't you stop him with your Johnny powers? What makes you think I have Johnny powers? You're the chosen one who defeated Dark Vegan. I guess we just assumed. Mm. Yeah, there's your first mistake. Mm. Attention, tracking Dark Vegan Statcraft. Destination, Planet Sirloin in two hours. Oh, we're running out of time. It sounds like if we're going to stop Dark Vegan, we'll have to train Johnny in the ways of the ribeye. Ooh, Johnny, what? 
Nick. Uh, 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 not until you've earned one. To the Tri-Tip Galaxy! <laughs> Welcome to Planet Sirloin of the Salisbury Nebula. Wow. Wow. <laughs> We're going to have to train you quickly if you're going to become a true ribeye knight. So you'll be learning from our oldest, wisest, and wrinkliest knight, Sir Wellington of Beef. This ground is made of meat? <laughs> the whole planet is made of meat, and that swamp water is gravy. Well, old friend, it's been nice knowing you. I'm gonna turn into out of control crazy dookie now! <laughs> so, you're the chosen one, hmm? Whoa! Let us see if you have the concentration of a ribeye knight. It is time to run the Vignotta Gauntlet! <laughs> Better than last time. I'm sorry, but it's useless trying to train him in the ways of a knight. It's hard to believe this boy is the chosen one who defeated Dark Vegan. Attention, Dark Vegan will be here in one hour. Can we snap him up? The snarky computer's right. Your stupid training takes too long. <laughs> Can we do this any faster? Well, um, here we go. Have the old ribeye projector that can temporarily give you our powers in seconds. But that rusty old thing hasn't worked in years. And will not, unless you know somebody who can repair overly complicated alien machinery. I think I know two somebodies. Basket of gills, favorite cupcakes, check. Stack of gills, favorite movies, check, check. Cupcakes, movies. Thanks, girls I've never met. Want to come in? Come in! sisters that I love. Johnny, this better be good. It is, Earth Girls. It is. Hmm. There. Hopefully that will get this thing working. Is this gonna hurt? With any luck, yes. You ruined our gill cupcake date. Hmm? I still feel like me. How do we know if it worked? Hey, what the heck are you saying? It worked! Whoa! Now to complete your initiation, you must use your powers to cook the steak with your light stick. <laughs> he did it! Yes, the sacred ritual is complete. You are now a temporary ribeye knight. Attention, Vegan will be here in two minutes. Hmm? He's here! Oh, my bad. Ribeye knights! Prepare to experience the full cookifying power of my death craft. I'm going to turn your meat planet into, well, toast. It is up to you now, young test. Why just me? These guys have ribeye powers too, right? Whoa, don't look at us. That guy's scary. <laughs> and very rude, I might add. All right, fine. Beam us to the death craft and we'll try to stop him. Will there be meat on the death craft, hmm? No. Just fruits and veggies. I'm good. <laughs> and now to cookify the planet. All right, vegan. Let's see if you can stand up to a John I nut. Oh, hi, Johnny. Damn. You won't stop my plans this time, Johnny Test. <laughs> hey. Nice form. Pinata gauntlet? Yep. Terrific. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Shoes on time! Space Wedgie! I will destroy you, Jolly Test, and anything else in my path! Dude, what are you so angry about? All I wanted was perfect toast! Why does making toast have to be so hard? I know the secret to perfect toast! You do? Use your cool levitating powers and grab your awesome light stick. Okay, I'm with you. And voila! Perfect toast! <laughs> so crispy, so crunchy. This toast is... is perfect! Perfect 
liked enough to quit trying to cookify the planet? Yeah, I'm good. Sorry about that. Hey, what are you doing just standing here? Perfect toast like this calls for a celebration! More toast, Wellington. Lay it on me, string bean. Mmm, this is amazing. So you sure I can't keep the light stick? It's so cool. Now that your powers have worn off, let's see how you do against the gauntlet. I'll do this, baby. No problem. <laughs> How'd I do? Better than last time. Wonder what's frozen in here. <laughs> Must get to Pork Belly, my true love, Johnny Test. Super Smarty Pants? What are you? I obey my Smarty Pants. Johnny, what are you doing in here? I'm working on something. Why are you using our sewing machine? Because I have a genius brain now and a genius plan. Wow, weird looking bedhead. It's not bedhead. My brain's growing at an incredible rate. See? I'm almost afraid to ask, but how is your brain growing? My super smarty pants. <gasps> super smarty pants! That's right, they're back and more stylish than ever. Look at the way they accentuate my... But didn't we seal them in a metal tube and drop them at the North Pole? Yep, but thankfully their undying love for me kept them warm. And now they're stronger and making me smarter with every second that passes. They actually look good on him. <laughs> what? You realize those are the same pants that tried to kill us all? just a misunderstanding. A lover's quarrel. Things are different now. How are they different? Well, for starters, this. Yeah! Now, with my super smarty ensemble, I will finally achieve super duper 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 smarts, and nothing can stop me! <laughs> okay, I'm thinking we should do something about this. Like what? Like something science -y. Clearly the pants have corrupted Johnny's brain and brainwashed him and there's a good chance he's smarter than us now! There's my bus. Gotta go. Can anyone tell me what 567 plus 687 equals? 1,254. That's, uh, correct. Johnny, something seems different about you today. Did you get a haircut? Are you taller? Collagen injection? No, no, and again, no. I'm the same old Johnny, except a whole lot smarter. Really? Well then, what's the planet Neptune's atmosphere made of? Where does quartz fall in the low scale of hardness? What's the most popular pizza topping? They was seeing the moon. And what's the pressure ratio at the deepest point of the Mariana Trench? Hydrogen, helium, and methane, seven pepperoni, tranquility, and eight tons per square inch. I never, ever, 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 not in a million years thought I'd say this. But Johnny, you're too smart for this school. And we need to transfer that magnificent brain where it'll be appreciated. Johnny, you are certainly following in some pretty big footsteps. I don't believe this. Mary and Susan are the top minds in the entire school. That's why I let them sit in the front of the class. Not back there with the wannabes. So I guess they figured out this equation then? Of course not. That equation has been on the board for six years. And no one has even come close to getting the correct... Eight. The answer is eight. That's correct! <laughs> How did you... It's easy once you realize that A over C equals X, then divide X by the weight of a neutron, add the circumference of the sun in millimeters, then subtract the weight of a hummingbird's eyelash and carry the four. Hey! Back of the class with you! The front row is where my new genius protege will sit. <laughs> Our little brother? Smarter than us? This can't be happening! <laughs> oh, but it is. Winning the Science Project Award is in the bag this year. Ready to launch! Fire! Welcome, scientists of the world! We 
have with us tonight, this year's most exciting breakthrough in gene splicing. You're on, Johnny. Really? When pigs fly? We can't have a world where Johnny is smarter than us. The effects on the planet could be cataclysmic. Way ahead of you. I'm gonna soak him. The water will short circuit the dangerous dungarees and zip zap zippity zap bye bye super booby pants. Aha! Gotcha! No, I got you. Yeah! I love my smarty pants, and nothing can separate us. <laughs> okay, you're gonna have to outsmart him. I want my old Johnny back. To the lab! That is it. We've gotta get those pants off Johnny. It's super duper pet sucking vacuum time! I don't know what that means, but I like the sound of it. Huh? Ah! Get him! You will never get my pants! Don't let him get away! We had a feeling you'd try something like this. Run! They've got bowling balls! <laughs> time to move on to Plan B a laser powered fabric destroying ray. So long, smarty pants! <laughs> okay, plan C. We shrink the suit using our customized washing and drying super pool. Time to shrink, super smarty pants! We knew you guys would try the old washer and dryer trick. So we added a few cycles. Washing dog now. Dog spin cycle. <laughs> I hate the spin cycle! Super dryer on. Don't say it. Okay, plan J. Actually, I think we're on plan K. Hey, plan K! We create a teleport device that. No! No more plans! He's too smart! And I'm too hurt! <sighs> Maybe you're right. Maybe we'll just have to learn to live with the new big-headed Johnny and his new pants and his new better-than-you attitude who's smarter than us and... and... I can't do it! I can't live with him smarter than us! Me neither! There's gotta be a way to get those pants off him! Yeah, I want my old Johnny back! Old Johnny, that's it! Dookie, you're a genius! <laughs> I knew it! Thanks to these x-ray binoculars, there's still a piece of Johnny's brain that the pants Corrupted. Right, because if the pants took over his whole brain, there'd be no part of Johnny for it to love. Dookie, since you and Johnny spend so much time together, there's no one that knows him better and loves him more. So it's up to you to get through to the old Johnny and convince him to claim his brain back and break free from the Smarty Pants microfiber brainwashing. Don't worry, ladies. You got nothing to worry about. I don't want to cause trouble. I just want to talk. What do you want, dog? Johnny, I know you're still in there. And if you can hear me, this is your best friend, Dookie. The dog you saved from the pound. Oh, that's right, I'm admitting it. You saved me from the pound. Remember me? We've been together for years, but surprisingly haven't aged very much. We've battled mole people at the center of the earth, traveled to the moon. You once didn't bathe for an entire week just for me. We've been shrunk, faced armies and robots. Oh, and you were a princess for a day. You're my Johnny X and I'm... I'm your super pooch. And I'm begging you, Johnny. Fight it! Fight the pants! Their love isn't real! Uh. It's working! I know you can hear me! I love you, Johnny! I love you! I love you too, Dookie! <laughs> I'm free! A little too free. Johnny, you're back! So are the pants! It up in our anti smarty pants super sucker upper unit. One, two, three! Now! Take that, smarty pants! Who's sitting in the back of the class now? Yeah, now we're the ones that are uh, more uh, smarter um, than your smartness. Uh, uh, yeah, nice one. The old Johnny is back. Welcome back, little brother. 
And now we'll use a rocket I made when I was smart to get Super Smarty Pants a new home. On the moon! Oh, yeah. This is Moon Mission 9. All's clear. Opening hatch now. Hey, what's with the pants? Uh, what? Uh, ah! 